My name is Ken, and welcome back to my continuing satisfactory series on Update 8 Experimental. This is Episode 7, and if you'd like to catch up from the beginning, a link to Episode 1 is in the description. In this episode, we finally add light to the underfloor. This is the first of two episodes where we experiment with light and lumen. I think you'll find some of these ideas useful in your save, so let's get started. Okay, quick little recap, what we're up to, what we've been doing. This is our Mega Starter Factory. I'm planning on getting everything all the way up to Mark V belts automated in here, um, including the aluminum needed to create the Mark V belts. Then and only then will we begin making our Mega Factories. I got some pretty insane plans. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off, but we're gonna try. But first things first, we have to get there. Making good progress. Last episode, we got the steel all set up. Yeah, let's take a quick look. Make sure that it's flowing. Coal should be coming in right here. Yes, this line of machines is all foundries and smelters. And we may do two floors of it, maybe not. But the inputs flow through the front. And then if anything backs up, overflow goes down to the bottom and then everything flows down the center this way the inputs the smelters and foundries pull items off of this main vertical bus and do what needs to be done so here is some caterium heading into this smelter through here the caterium ingots head down the bottom line you can see steel is hanging out on this second line so on and so forth copper ingots are on the what fifth and sixth line and then they head down and underneath we have some complicated belt work they head over here iron ingots copper ingots wire steel limestone and as you can probably guess this is actually our constructor line and these constructors head down that direction Let's go ahead and jump on this so we can get a bit of a better view. The idea is the same, a central vertical bus going down the center, and then we pull off what we need when we need it and make what we need and shoot it off to the sides. And you can see the steel coming through the top and the limestone to make the concrete. And the other side has the quick wire, wire, and steel beams. And we can continue as many as we want. All we have to do is upgrade the speed of the belt to increase our throughput, add machines on, they can be in any order, you just pull off what you want when you want it, and then spit out what you need on the belt that is making that item. The next line of machines is our assemblers and our manufacturers, and we have a lot of items coming in here. Anything that needs to be used in an assembler or a manufacturer has to come in here. Anything that we're making too much of or not using at all in the case of uh, concrete because the concrete is here for the encased beams and we're not making any yet. So all the concrete is getting kicked down. Anything that is full on this bus line. So quick wire is a perfect example. It gets overflowed and heads down underneath. Okay, let's check out what we got going down underneath. Underneath is really where a lot of the magic happens. We smart split to the right. We'd head through here and then smart split out the right and this heads to storage. So these copper sheets are full. And then if it is full, anything that gets overflowed goes straight and then comes over here and then gets sunk for our tickets. That's the basic setup. And the number one goal we're going to work on today is twofold. Well, really, this underfloor. We've got to get it under control. We're going to build ourselves our catwalks so we can get around down here a lot easier and we can see what's happening and light everything. So that is the plan for today is lighting. We need to go shopping. See what we got for tickets. All right. Four coupons. Not a whole lot. We can help the situation, and we will. 
by throwing in some... Let's make some DNA capsules really quick. Bird, you are in the way, bro. And if you didn't know, turning your alien protein into this DNA is a way to really help you early get some tickets because the ticket counter, it works as a different counter than the regular items that get burned. Where are we? There we are. And I'll show you. So as those go in, the DNA points until next coupon, right? That They're only at 1,000, 4,000, right? They're at a much lower level than... So that was three coupons right there. And, you know, we got 92,000 points needed for... Oh my god, you're so loud. All right. Do a little shopping. For lights. Yeah, we're buying all of the lights. I really want these big... Advanced steel. That's the holdup. Advanced steel. Can we grab that? Blueprints we said we were going to do next. But can we get advanced steel? We definitely can. So let's switch over to advanced steel. I want to buy those big signs. And then what else? We needed rotors. Can why are the rotors and the modular frames at the front? Well, random citizen, don't ask. All right. Advanced steel production. There we go. Milestone reach. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Okay. Oh no, I needed these floodlights. I thought I picked them up. That's a sad day. I'm gonna be, I'm four tickets short. Here we go. Blueprints. Launch. We don't even uh, we don't even have any more coupons. We're about to get one. But that that hurts that hurts me. So we can't do lights yet because the light that I need, I was an idiot and I spent I spent my allowance on the wrong toy. Okay. What we can do Industrial storage. Will it let us control replace? I was really hoping it would let us control replace, but it's not. And I want to change these over to the industrial storage containers because we just got steel. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. And then let's put this back. Okay. I love all those smart plates. Oh, you, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's that's how we're gonna fix this lack of tickets. I'm just gonna steal from the gigantic horde of smart plates that I have. That's the solution. I mean, look at that bad boy. We'll come back for those as soon as we finish this little task. And then this side. Yeah, that's all we got for now. That's okay. We can get most of this done. Let's get those lights that we wanted to get. A little hole there, but we'll fix it later. This is definitely looking awesomely like mass storage. I love it. All right, smart plate time. Let's burn some smart plating. We're gonna need. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot more smart plate. We're cooking here. This should work. Let's see what's next for our milestones. Let's get power storage going. All right, expanded power infrastructure. 
has been launched. And I believe we have the tickets we need. Nope, we're one short. <laughs> Still close. Finally, lights. All the lights are ours. Blood lights by all. Now, I really only have a general plan of what I want to do for lighting. So, a lot of this, we're going to have some trial and error. Let's set up our light switch, our light control panel first. All right. So any lights we make are gonna come off of this. All right, our first light of the save. And as a reminder, this is with Lumen on. So, it's not the best light ever. I'll probably, I'll definitely be, okay, yeah, let's try this instead. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error, guys. So I apologize in advance because I just don't know how things are gonna look with Lumen. Huh, looks pretty sweet. It's definitely got some hard shadows, though. Okay, let's try something a little bit different. Maybe we can put a little bit of light. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. We can't build the billboards. We can build these. See what looks good. Something like this. Let's do a white. Layout is going to be. This. I don't think any image. Vision strength two and we'll try glossy. See what three looks like. Ooh, yeah. Nice. So, I like that light a lot better than that other bright thing. So, all right, hey. It's not like perfect, but it's something. See what a lot of them looks like for our f underfloor here. All right. I thought I had my light on. This is so much better. Oh, missed one. This is really, really cool. And it's a lot softer than actually those floodlights. Maybe we put some smaller ones. Maybe like these guys. Or. Let's see. Let me get rid of that little foot. Yep. A little tedious, though. Might be a bit much. Let's try something smaller. What about, yeah, these guys. We can place them right in the middle. Maybe we could do like every other one. I figure, you know, I'm gonna spend a lot of time down here working, a lot of time. If we're gonna spend time working in a place. Let's make it look nice. I used to, in my factories, spend all my time working on an area and then 
then I would make it look nice, and then I would leave it and go on to the other factory. And, I, and then I'd never get to enjoy the time. Oh, yeah. Level two. Let's try level one, even. Yeah, we might do level one on these uh, little walkways. Uh, level two. We'll do level two. And so I then decided that if, if I'm going to spend a ton of time somewhere, you know, let's let's make it look nice before I leave it and go somewhere else. All right, now that we can see and we have a plan for lighting the walkways, let's make the walkways. We're definitely going to do some down lighting. Let's see how many tickets we got. We have one. So we're not going to be doing we're not going to have those painted beams probably this episode unless we go animal hunting which we could do but we have plenty to do without the painted beams but my idea is to get some lights right in here so that we light up these items cascading down i think it would look really good we're out of range of our light do that. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. That doesn't doesn't last very far. Now, how far down do we want to go? That's probably too far. So let's do this ramp. And then I'd like a way up. So. Make this a T. I want to be able to see all this stuff. All right, let's keep going. What if we dropped down here? Actually can't be there because we're gonna have belts there. there but oh well okay i think most of oh we gotta clean this up a little bit but not we don't have much to do let's actually make this come around corner Ramp. And then we know we're going to extend, so when we do our refinery line, so I'll just build that that direction. Yeah. Cool. 
Now, before we start putting in lights, which I want to do very, very soon, I want to make a couple of other access points down into here. So let's go up there and see what makes sense. Oh man, we can navigate down here so much easier. Okay, so we have our door to our underfloor here. We can always move that. And we probably should. Yeah, something like this. I want a way to get very quickly from the underfloor up into the central storage. Got an idea. Starting to come together. Deep down in the recesses of my brain. We'll put a roof on that when we have roofs. Corner. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give up on my Idea of going into the center. Something like this. We are very close. Right to storage. All right. That's what I was looking for. I think the floodlights might look fine on our friends over here. We can get them centered. And then a wall mounted floodlight. Just get him so he's out of clipping. And. Yeah, it almost even though it's centered, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stay with it. I was thinking maybe put it over the high spot. Uh, I don't think I don't think that'll necessarily look good. You know, you can use H for putting something down and then move it with arrows instead of using barrier in some cases. So I know that in my brain, right? But I don't have that habit built yet. So let's, let's try. Lock hologram. Okay, hologram is locked. Nudge up, down, left, right. Okay. All right. All right, that's cool. Oh, uh, sir, are you going to turn on? Okay, cool, cool. I like it. It's something going for our walkway signs. We might be able to use the nudging thing here, too. All right. That looks really cool. Now, 
got an idea. What we really need is to make this a blueprint. Let's do that. Let's make this a blueprint. This is a perfect use case for blueprint. All right, we need to go vertical here for our blueprint maker because that boy is a fat boy. This is actually the perfect place to perhaps lock and move the hologram. All right, something bigger. Damn, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. All right, blueprints up. All right, what do we want to make? So what we're going to do is we're going to put down. We'll do one for this for this. Don't know if I'm going to need one for if I need any other ones for some reason. I will just make them by hand. I think that the vast majority are going to be this setup. That way I don't have to go around and delete the feet. I don't have to, you know, set everything. Oh, damn. I don't know how long I've been able to use color. So we're going to have to... This is going to be like the... We're going to be really fixing things up. Let's see how this works. But let's say we wanted to do this one uh, what if we go to blueprint mode no but if I get the height right I can probably nudge it where I want but it won't necessarily be locked that makes me a little sad Yeah. Wonder if we do this differently. I wonder if instead of, because I don't want to mess with the walkway necessarily. I got an idea. What if we just blueprint the lights? And the lights are in the right shape. Let's try it. Everything's set. Just delete the walkway. That is that. That's the solution. Then I don't have to mess around with the walkways not lining up or anything. I can just drop the lights where I want them. So it gives you more freedom anyway on how you place it. And they're kind of snapping somehow. There we go. Haste. Haste. Come on. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. They're a little bright, though. Yeah, we're going to go down to one. Because I want to use them a lot. Alright, so I'll change that in the blueprint. Yeah, there's just a little bit too much glare in the eyeball with two. Like, like this is all a little bright, right? We'll, we'll mess with it later, but... And uh, let's uh, put up some lights now that we've fine-tuned what we like. You know, if I could get it in the center. All right, let's try this. I'll just stand right here. Oh, well, I know. We just use what the tools that we've been given. Here we go. I think that's right. Now I'm never going to build a blueprint without hitting H first. Because there's no reason not to. And then let's actually put this... I'm using it so much. Um, eight. Put on my toolbar.
<laughs> it looks so good. I'm super happy with this. Now, there's only one problem with this whole setup. It only lights from one side. What if... What if... We did a double light? We'd have to redo some stuff. Basically everything we've done. Yep, that's it. Damn. Hey, when I have a good idea that results in me having to do a bunch more work. I don't even need that rail. Let's see what happens when we try to place won't let us because our blueprint is there dismantle mode there's the filter where is the OR blueprint dismantle catwalk straight light okay okay check this out I love this look at this Two, two separate things, and this is new to update eight. Okay, so I have blueprint mode dismantle on, or blue, dismantle mode blueprint, and then dismantle filter catwalk straight light. So now I could just run through here and, and just dismantle everything we did that's this blueprint very, very quickly. So what are we going to do? We are going to try this now. Yeah, see, that's too close there. Okay, let's hit H. Take a look. That's too close for me. And then we can't do anything other than that. Otherwise, it won't look centered. So this is how we'll have to do it. What it looks like without our flashlight on. And it looks great. Really, really great. Yeah, we could do something like that. Now, would they be in every corner thing? We have this problem in every corner. Because we might, in which case, blueprint time. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Next blueprint. Okay. All right, let's keep building lights. If we have to, we will go killing some animals for animal protein for some more tickets. All right, here's a corner. Let's use our new piece. It's great. Honestly, just using the two meters, the everywhere, probably would have probably the smart thing to do. Because a lot of these problems would go away. Because I'm using because I'm using the three meter. I guess you can, I guess they're set right. You just have to open and close them. The little, the little bug that's happening. I think. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah, you just have to open and close them. I bet you that if I shut down and reloaded, that it would it would work fine. But I kind of want to, you know, I need to. We need to see where we're at. So. Hey. Okay. I just want to finish out these walkways for sure, and then we'll see where we're at. Yeah, if, if someone else planning on doing this, I would use these two fine labels and just put them in between every other one rather than using the three, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's a little funky trying to get them to work just right. So I'm going to see if a quick save and exit to main menu and reload fixes this. So let's take a look. Perfect, they're all in. So, good to know. Um, you can place whatever you want. You don't have to go through and deal with all that stuff. Now, I'd like to see what ceiling light looks like. I don't know if I like that. I mean, it's fine. Just, I'd rather have... I feel like we can do better. But we might not be able to do better without our painted beams. Because what I was thinking is putting something like this on the ceiling, but facing down, right? But we can't do that without our, our painted beams more we would need to go kill some animals real quick structural beam two more well i was gonna do a little exploring anyway let's make sure we have a little bit of everything because i want to head over we need to grab some hard drives uh, all right, let's head out. We're gonna head over to the east. We're gonna kill what we find. It's at night, which, you know, I could have chose a better time, but uh, that's okay. Do I want to head in here? Spider Town? I hear something. Where are you? All right, hey, we got some uh, spitter remains. Take them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, look before you leap there. In. I'm not super familiar with this area, to be honest with you. We're exploring. It's fun and scary. I'm in a more danger from myself and my jumping than I am from any spiders. We also... Alright. That's hefty. Oh man, they're, they've, they're little flankers. Alright. Jokes on you, spiders. I was out here looking for your meat. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Oh, a Paternal Figure. Say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. More cowbell. We're going to have a lot of alien protein when we get back, but I don't want to go, go home without a hard drive. That was a cool little cave. Okay, we're a fix-it employee, so we know how to use tools. I'm gonna build a ladder here. I just wanna, yeah, it's like right above us.
What do we got? Oh, new guy. Oh, shit. And I... Is he a new guy or is he just... Okay, he's just that guy. But I don't have much health. I'll have even less if he pushes me off the edge. All right. Oh my god, there's another one. Where you at, buddy? I just want to talk. He had one hit left? Ugh. Of course he did. Oh well. That was fun. Exciting. Uh, do we have anything interesting here? Okay. Just... Rotors. Build our ma'am and get researching. Um, where are we? Okay, there's another one it's south of us. So let's go head over there. Oh, hi, big boy. Hi guys, I just want your meat. I'm having a barbecue. An alien barbecue. And hog is on the menu. You said dude like fainted? He like coming in. Oh, just kidding. My buddy's gonna come in. Okay, what do we got? Repairs needed. Pin black powder! I don't have black powder. This is really pretty over here. I need coal. Is there any coal or black powder? Or sulfur? Or both? Southeast? Alright, there's another hard drive southeast. We'll get the coal. minutes left it's sulfur uh well i'll need i'll need that too all right let's let's keep going i heard you two for one Okay, anything over here interesting laying on the ground? And it looks like another hard drive. That's a fat boy. I don't want to deal with him and the bees. Wow. Killed him. Batter up. Ooh. Ah, uh, that'll wake you up at one in the morning. Aha. 50 megawatts. So yeah, we weren't gonna be able to get in here and steal this anyway. It was fun. 50 a these make 30.
I think this is the really big one. I'm a great shot. He's a better shot, though. Lead the target. Lead the target. He sounds really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, Cole, where are you? Are you at the top of the hill? Damn it, you are. I remember this, Cole. There's sulfur nearby as well. Because that Star Destroyer I built. Alright, ma'am. Uh, was a turbo fuel factory, so I, I needed them. Well, I'm definitely getting those. Definitely getting that. What I need is an alternate recipe for rotors so that I can I don't have to build any freaking screws anymore. Because I think screws are the only uh, I think rotors are the only thing I'm using screws for. Well, he's bugged, but you know what? I'm going to take advantage of it. Oh, shit. A few moments later. What is that? I don't know what that is. Where's your... Where's your there we go. I think we needed like 50 for that black powder. I'm trying to outshoot the shooter. Oh, I think he... Did he bomb himself? <laughs> I think he might have killed himself. Ooh, blue guy. Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. Luckily, we keep our equipment. I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how many bees were there. Death number two. Uh, I don't have anything to build any any ladders with. There's a hard drive I wasn't expecting. Mam's complete. I don't have anything to build a mam with. This bridge will let us out if I can climb it. Very, very quiet. Oh, God. Like a Guild Wars 2 jumping puzzle. Yeah. I hated those. Oh, I think the worst is over. Had those the whole time? massacre out here and it's me that's getting massacred where's the sulfur I'm so greedy Can't help it. All right. Grab a bunch of sulfur, like 150. This has been one hell of an adventure. I don't do anything half-assed, at least. All right, let's go get our box. Holy shit.
Okay. This has been quite an adventure. Alternate steel frame. button. Did not want to do that. I wonder if I can stop it. I don't think so. Not great, Kin. Not great. Ooh, I wonder if I should go get that one. No, I've learned my lesson. Let's head back to the black powder, which is north west. Not going in there. All right, well, I guess we're going to fight. That's one of the new guys. Pretty cool. Something good, something good. Well, I'm not building screws. Uh, fused wire. Eh. Eh. These are all lame. I guess this one. All right. So, what do we need to do? We need to get our black powder. Here we go. Okay, 10 black powder. What did I do? Skip, skip past it? Can I not handcraft it? I think you make it with an assembler. There it is. Well, um, okay, I guess. Thirty per minute. Well, at least it won't take long. There's our ten. That was super strange. All right, our hard drive. Now, throw this in the ma'am. All right. It's like we were never here. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Get it, ma'am. All right. Let's go. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. And we're finally back home. Oh, my goodness. We were gone for a while. All this for some tickets. 101 DNA capsules. That's what we're here for. This is going to be awesome. We have actually stored one while we were gone. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Look at him go. I needed him so bad. They're already gone. It's like the meme, the South Park. And it's gone. No, now it's about to be gone. Yeah, the two tickets we had. 17 tickets. It's like we're rich. Okay, first things first. We're getting that. Okay. All right. Everything else. Um, we really needed, we really need a roof as well. Three left. 
Tilted walls would have been nice. But we needed the roof. So we'll get the tilted walls next. I want to light these lifts from the bottom. Or from the top. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. But I think it can be done. With our painted beams. So let's give it a try, shall we? And then organization. Yes. And I turn you. You're not rolling. Okay, you would go on the side. I wonder if I redid the painted beam and rolled the painted beam. There it is. That's the money shot. That's what I wanted. Uh, that placement is not perfect. I don't really want it to clip. Maybe. But uh, something like that. For sure. Or, or maybe a better way to do this. We could put it on an angle. Okay, that's straight down. Okay, that's a slight angle. We're going to make it brighter. So, paste, and then set it to two, and then copy, paste. No clipping. That looks great. That looks really good. I like that a lot. So, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. But that is the plan. So, Thursday night when I stream, we're going to clean up these lights. We're going to place these, get something a little more subtle going. And then in these dark areas, I'm going to use that trick of putting lights like this or maybe even the billboards. Might do like a billboard. I just want to see. I just want to see what this looks like. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It actually is pretty nice. That's two. And that's three. <laughs> that's massive. Oh my god. That thing is freaking ridiculous. Ugh. But if I could put that on the ceiling and set it to two, maybe, that would be that would be really nice overhead light. I wouldn't have to deal with those ugly ass ceiling lights that we have. We also need to light our under floor. Look at that. And we'll get our roofs on and get lights up here. That's why I got the roofs and the other access way up here. We'll get roofs for this. That's going to do it for the evening, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this is the first of two light experimentation episodes, and I think we learned a lot. In the next, I'm going to be continuing with top-down lighting using painted beams, including using the large billboards. If I cut out anything you wanted to see, the link to the full VOD for this episode is in the description. If you want to watch me take even more beasts to the face in real time, look for my live streams right here on YouTube. That's it for now. Until next time.